Hey friends, it's Kara. I am coming to you live from my bedroom on my birthday. We're going to make some loom hats. So this is a video for YouTube friends and it's I'm sideways and for BPA friends. So we're having our BPA Business Professionals of America of Idaho. We're having our state leadership convention this week and we're doing some service projects and I'm super excited about that. So thank you for serving. Thank you for helping. Here is a knitting loom. Here is some yarn. I'm doubling it. This will be a great hat for hunting. Although this is a small hat, so it would probably be for a teenager. I don't, well, no, it might fit an adult. We'll see. Okay, step one, we're going to make a slip knot. Um, or you can just do whatever you need to do to tie it onto this little starting peg. So tie your yarn to the starting peg. And we're just going to start um, looping around, around the pegs. I shouldn't have done orange on orange. That was really silly, but that's just what I grabbed. So that's okay. So I'm looping from back to front, basically. If you look the long sides on the back here, on the inside, and then the short parts on the front. So we're making these cute little wraparounds. I'll pause and I'll pause and wrap. Record. I haven't made a video for a long time. I'm sorry about that. Okay, I have wrapped every single one of these little pegs. Now I'm going to wrap a second time around the entire thing. So just on top of the last one. Two, three, four. I'll show you the first four. See? Cute. It's going to be so fun. Okay, I'm going to pause and wrap. Okay, we've wrapped the whole thing with two little loops. I forgot to tell you to push down the first loop. Okay, now comes the fun part. So I have two loops on each peg. And I'm going to take my little tool and I'm going to lift up the bottom loop. Where am I? I'm going to do this one first just for fun. Now don't wrap too tightly or else you're going to have trouble lifting your yarn over the loop. Okay. So we'll lift up this loop. Can you see me okay? Let's come closer. Lift up this loop. Got it. Oh, got it. And throw it off over the back. And then you can slide it down if you want. So it'll, we'll do a new one. Oh yeah, here we'll do it within the signal. Here, I'm going to balance it on my chin. Yeah, you guys, thank you so much for serving. This is awesome. And I hope that I can hang out with you guys. Okay, so I'm just going to lift it off and push it down. You're going to find this so therapeutic. You're going to be so stressed out because of your contests. And you're going to just say, oh, I'm going to go knit. I'm going to go knit with carrot. Did I miss that one? Uh oh, don't tell. Okay, what we're going to do with these hats is we are going to donate them to maybe a shelter or a mission, something. Can you imagine that those who are experiencing homelessness might really enjoy a nice hat that's made with love by a bunch of business professionals? And what I like to do when I am making something for someone is I like to include a little happy thought or a little prayer with each stitch and I'm getting so many birthday wishes <laughs> it's so fun and I just want a contest on the radio I want a car wash a $20 car wash and I want like this um, thing for like this drink place like a $40 gift card for that so I'm gonna go see if my husband and I can pick that up today that'd be fun we could go get a drink afterwards and a car wash but only for my car if we take the pickup to town I'm not I'm not letting him use my car wash. <laughs> okay, so we just keep taking them off. And then as soon as you get the whole thing done, then you... How long have I been recording? Oh, four, hour, four hours. <laughs> four minutes. Um, then you just keep going and going. So I will... Um, I'll have another... Maybe I'll have another video or maybe I'll just add on to this video with what to do next. Once you get... Um, what we want to do... Where's my hat? Where's my finished product hat? I'll go find it. Just kidding. My finished product hat is skiing with my son today, this morning. So what we want to do is we want to build a little band, you know, like around the ears for extra warmth. So we want to be able to, here's another one that I have that the cool kids at regionals worked on. See how it starts to really form a lot of knitted fabric. It's so cool and it's so stretchy. So what we're going to want to do after we get about eight inches, eight inches is a lot. So that's going to take a lot of, 
a lot of knitting by you guys. But then we'll take this part, the part that we started with, and we'll just loop it back over the pegs and it will create a band. If you can see now, it's a double thickness. So that's going to be super duper. So, but wait until you've got about eight inches. I'd say this is probably four, maybe five inches, maybe six. Anyway, eight inches for me is the span of my hand. So unless you're a really tall guy or something, you know, that, so I want to be able to get it that big. And then I'll loop it over and then we'll just continue to crochet, not crochet, knit as normally. And we'll just keep flipping them over. And then when we get to the very end, you know, once you have another eight or 10 inches for the head, then we'll cinch it up. We'll take it off and cinch it up. So hopefully I'll be there to help. If not, I will work on one of these. No, maybe I won't. I don't think I'll be able to because I want to leave these for you guys to work on because I think that'll be fun. But anyway, here's the orange hat. Here's a blue hat. I have some green hats. Um, like I said, we started these at a regional um, conference in Pocatello, and that was really fun. We had a lot of good, a lot of good helpers that helped us. So uh, please leave all the things behind with um, whoever is in charge of this table. And thanks for your help. And we'll talk to you later. Bye.